Eva. In this video, I'll show you how to do temporal disaggregation by using data manipulate method. Temporal disaggregation method use is used to to convert the high low frequency data into high frequency data. Low frequency data uh, by low frequency data, I mean the yearly data, and the high frequency is quarterly or monthly data. Now, the, for doing the temporal disaggregation you have to install the package which if it is not installed in your R that is temporal disaggregation it is already installed in my R so I have just loaded it by running the library now I have the yearly data for the Indian states so that is first stage like Andhra Pradesh I'll just load it load the data so now it is loaded I just gave another name a piece or name now see the data so this is the data yearly data available now it is not in time series format i have to convert it in time series format by running this one so now it is got converted into time series format so i now uh, i have to uh, like once it is uh, in time series format we can do the determinant actualate uh, uh, to method to uh, convert it into quarterly data so i have written apq under for this quarterly data uh, temporal disaggregation ap this is the procedure uh, if it is uh, uh, you want to understand more you can always refer to data and short paper or data paper why this lambda uh, this lambda uh, one is there so now this is done now this is credit see this is this data now it is available in quarterly format similarly i have uh, for other state also see uh, i can load it the vihar oh okay this is not there i can load it the cannot find our csp so one minute okay there's some problem so it is now load now awesome see i converted into now I got the quarterly data. This is so by using this, you can always convert your uh, quarterly data into monthly or the yearly data into quarterly data. So uh, many people have used it, and there is, I think, there is some limitations of this method. But for a uh, simple analysis, you can always do this test. Thank you.